Hi Mike's Lessons family. Um, after watching today's live lesson, I was really excited because I've been playing hand drums for about four years now. I've been playing the drums for eight. Um, I remember what really got me into the hand drums was seeing my hand drum instructor play for the first time. I've never, I never even met him before I saw him play. And uh, it just opened my mind so much to so much different music and so much different ways of approaching the drum set. Uh, so today's lesson was about hand drums. It was about a groove that Mike came up with. And I really liked it. And uh, after playing it for a while, I realized... I play that groove quite often with my uh, my band or one of the bands that I'm in uh, called Practice at Five, um, and I always like the the first. I think it's the first five notes. Yeah, the first five notes of the groove. It's it just kind of stood out to me, even though I've played it before, and I know I have. I just never heard it, like, like at the beginning of the video, before the lesson even started, Mike was playing ostinatos with his feet, and playing the groove that he taught today, and I just thought that was awesome. So, I'm not going to be playing any ostinatos because in this video because my iPhone's microphone isn't good enough but I am gonna show you or ask Mike to review my ideas regarding this groove and uh, what I can do to expand his groove even more so then what I've already kinda tried and do and I'm also gonna in this video show you guys two fun grooves that you guys can play if you're interested more in hand drums and all right this is my first student review video and this is the first time I post the video directly to Mike's lesson it's not just the video that I copied and pasted that I was on like I have done in the past I'm going to try to be more a part of the Mike's Lessons community because I've been there, I've been with the live lessons for about a year and a half now and I've been trying to go to a drum camp for the longest time and I would really love to go out there eventually. Hopefully with this new job I can totally go out there to Folsom and hang out with you, Mike, Amber, and Nate. Alright, well this is what I came up with, uh, the ideas. Alright, I'm just going to play this a few times. After a few times, I think you will get the gist of what's happening or what I'm playing enough to be able to add your input to, to it. Alright, here goes what I'm playing. up several times while playing it. I apologize for that. I wasn't doing that earlier. Um, 
So, Mike, if you could add a little bit of your input into those grooves. Let me see how I am. Come on, five minutes. Really quick, I'm going to show you guys these two groove ideas. The first one is kind of my interpretation of a punk punk beat played on djembe. I was asked to do it one time and I uh, it was mind boggling because <laughs> the guy asked me to play it I was like punk beat on djembe I was like dude this instrument's from Africa I don't think they have punk out there but then after I don't know, it probably took me a few minutes to come up with it. It's not very hard at all, and anybody can probably play this groove. So here it goes. So that's... So, kind of like you're playing on the kit. So... Sped up, it sounds like. I don't know, I just think that's really cool sounding. And I was really happy with myself after making that up. And the, the next groove is, in my opinion, a central groove to play if you're going to play any hand drums or any... I just think it's pretty important to know how to play this group. It's, again, it's pretty easy. I will eventually write it out for you guys. I can at the moment because I don't have any software. So I'll get a pen and pencil later on today and I'll write it out. Or try to. Alright, here goes the group. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.